Hi guys, welcome back to The Ordinary Life. My name is Lauren and today we are going to clean this pantry. It is a disaster in there. I'm about to take you guys inside, show you the mess. Let's start by taking all the cleaning stuff and everything that's just on the floor here out, out of the way so at least we have room to work. One thing that has been in the way for forever, even since I organized this the last time, is chips. Bags of chips have been everywhere. So I did go ahead and get a container at Walmart. So let me grab that. We'll start putting all the chips in it and at least we'll have a clearer view of what we're working with once we get all of these bags and extras out of the way. gonna start with all of these little bins that I have all over. Let me pull out a lighter one. The ones with the cans are so heavy. These are from Amazon. I will try to link them below in the description box. They were super affordable. Um, they're a great way to organize. They do have all different sizes. I have some smaller ones on my top shelf here and then these on the next two shelves below that. But let's go through, make sure nothing is expired, throw out all the old stuff or empty boxes because my kids do just eat the snacks out of them and leave the box behind. So let's go through, clean them, organize them. taking the tags off things. <laughs> We've had these in here for almost two years now and I still have the little tag that came on them from Amazon. I go grocery shopping every two weeks if it's something that most likely we're gonna run out of in a two week time span or something that I often forget to put on my grocery shopping list and we just use constantly. I put it on my top shelf. So like oatmeal, broths, extra ketchup, extra mayo, extra peanut butter, tomato sauces. And then I also have a lot of hot sauces. Quite hard, quite lovely. You start me up like no one's ever could. You feel my fire. Oh, 
trash so hopefully they'll work for us if not there's always so many places to use them i'm gonna wipe them down with the antibacterial wipe just because they've been sitting out in the garage they're not super dusty which is nice because our house gets so dusty i guess the garage is a sweet spot that doesn't get dusty you start me up like no one has ever could You feel my fire, fire, fire 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 You feel my fire So I have these containers here that I like to put pasta in raisin crackers snacks kind of anything that needs a home this guy here i got not too long ago at tj maxx it's perfect it spins little lazy susan for like soy sauce um cooking oils i have a hot sauce down there this is good to go i just went through it not that long ago jars lately because when you buy tomato sauce or like this one here was probably like pepperoncinis or something like that we just throw away all these jars and my dry goods like lentils beans this is quinoa can go in a jar instead of being in the plastic packaging and I just like the look of it I'm gonna try to figure out a nice way to organize these I don't think I want them down here anymore this shelf has my bread box in it it also has this big black jar that says rice on it this has our sushi rice in it i did buy another jar so i can add my um basami i basmati i always say it the wrong way my basmati rice um also and i think i'll stick it on this side so i'm gonna find a new home for these guys here let's vacuum these three shelves and get these three shelves organized and gone through and then we will put our beans in our cans or jars up there in the kitchen I don't know if it makes up for reorganizing the pantry but once we're all done it'll all work out Facing all the lights 
And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. to reserve for like paper towels, drinks, all of that kind of stuff. maybe like a month ago I'm gonna keep the top shelf the same I like how it is kind of displaying all the tea so when someone wants a tea they can see what they're working with but let's work on underneath here and figure out what we want to do <laughs> this Hello Kitty toaster for almost as old as my oldest daughter is and it's still going strong my husband is always trying to get me to buy a new toaster because he says we need a grown-up toaster but I don't know why he doesn't think that Hello Kitty toaster is not a grown-up toaster because I bought it when I was a grown-up these moments, the light poets to me. You are, you getting into my brain. I have a lot of cupboards that are like the highest cupboards that I don't use because I'm so short, even on my step stool, I can't reach them. So I'm thinking of putting some of the appliances, like my mini crock pot and like a punch bowl, a butt pan. A cake. Post COVID, nobody needs this anymore. So <laughs> I think I'm going to put it in a cupboard that's, you know, one of the higher shelves that I have, lots of space in. And that way I don't have to look at it every day and I'll have it when I need it, but it's not going to be in the way cluttering up the pantry. And my air fryer so air fryer I don't think fits on a regular shelf but I do use it very often welcome 
to the back side of my pantry. This side of the pantry, hardly anyone ever sees because when the door opens, it literally opens like to here and blocks this whole side. So this is where I can hide my junk at. And you can tell I have a lot of junk to hide. Not a single grain of sun. I'm drifting on it. So cold and warm. When you hold me, when you close. I know, I know. I'm a hoarder. It's a good thing Daryl's not because I am a hoarder. Why do I, why did I bring home coffee cups from the hotel? It's guiding me home. So cold and warm. When you hold me, when you close. I know, I know. I'm a lost case. I'm a man. Officially day two of pantry cleaning. I had to call it quits last night because I didn't want to wake up to a messy kitchen. And as you know, you saw me picking up things and taking them out. Well, I took them out into the kitchen. So the mess that was in here became the mess in the kitchen. So I got that all sorted. It looks so much better already, but we have a few more shelves to finish. We have, I think, let's see here, a half a shelf. The very bottom, so one, two, three, three and a half, three and a half shelves, and we're done. Hit you with the tech sound exo. My ace boom boom, no flex, no. I won't gas you up like Petro. Just trying to take you way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later. But you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me. Yeah, you're all in my head like. You're my forever, not for right now. My day one, you hold me down. Hard cold like the winter time. Fight for your love, can't slow me down. Don't go far. We're finally done cleaning the pantry. Altogether, I would say it took less than two hours, but with being a mom and everything that comes with it, sometimes those two hours are spread out over two days and that's okay. The important thing is it's clean, it is organized, and it is functional, which is the most important aspect. I can go in and find things and it's not a cluttered mess that is overwhelming me. Thank you so much for joining in and watching today's video. I hope you'll consider subscribing for more mom life, organizing, cleaning, and decorating motivation. See you next time.